and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about stop signs and I'm gonna to come to a complete stop right here and quite out often I'll get a comment from my videos either asking the question why I'm not stopping or just a comment in general, hey, you're not stopping at stop signs. Why is that? So I'm gonna talk a little bit about stop signs and why I don't stop at stop signs, at least I don't stop at all of them. So let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, I don't stop at stop signs in areas like where I'm at right now where there's low, very low tra traffic, nobody around or hardly anybody around because there's just no cars around. And if it's a busier road, then yeah, obviously I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna run a stop sign and cause an accident involving myself or anyone else so I uh, keep that in mind that I'm not running stop signs all over the place all the time it's just and so the reason why I don't stop at stop signs is a couple of things one is I don't think I have to because I'm not going overly fast secondly the laws here in Oregon as of 2020 they've got a law in now for bicycles which this is considered and as of 2020 you no longer have to come to a stop at a stop sign provided that the area is clear and you're able to go through without any any uh, traffic coming or any pedestrians walking across and so they say in the law that you treat the stop sign as a yield sign which means slow down and proceed with caution provided the area is clear to proceed. So, when you do slow down, they say, which is true, that you need to leave enough space for slowing down to be able to stop if you, if need be. So, so that law I think is a good one because how many people out there actually stop all the time you know you might be somewhere where there's hardly any traffic like here I'm stopped obviously I'm not gonna run through this stop sign all right get back on the road here so Now when I say here, I'm, I'm talking about here in the state of Oregon. I don't know where you are, the laws may be different. You may not be able to go through a stop sign without stopping, but... And I'm not just going to run 30 miles an hour through a stop sign, but... But it does not apply to street lights, obviously. You've got to stop at a street light. And uh, I stop at every street light, even if there's nobody in sight, I still wait for the light to change. Sometimes I'll have to get up onto the sidewalk though, because the bike isn't triggering the light. So I have to get up to the sidewalk to uh, hit the pedestrian uh, crossing. 
to uh, get across but so that's why I don't stop even if there wasn't a law I don't think I would come to a complete stop it's kind of silly to me if there's nobody coming nobody around at all and you can clearly see that there's nobody coming then uh, do you have to really come to a complete stop can you not do a rolling five mile per hour or four mile per hour or whatever stop anyway um, like I say that's here in Oregon I don't know what other state laws are But I do get uh, comments or, or questions as to why I don't stop at stop signs. And the other thing um, I wanted to, to mention too is that the camera that I, I'm shooting from a chest mount uh, on my GoPro 10 and it's directly ahead so you're not seeing anything peripheral from the sides that I'm seeing. I can turn my head, the camera's fixed forward, so I'm seeing it in a different view than you are, because I'm able to obviously turn my head from side to side and see who's coming. So it may look on the camera like, gee, this guy's going like, you know, whipping right through a, a stop sign. Yeah, when in fact I'm looking to make sure that no cars are coming, so. So how many out there actually come to a complete stop at every single stop sign? If you wanna leave a comment on this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Am I um, wrong, even though the law says here in Oregon that I don't have to stop, uh, provided that there's nobody coming, should I stop anyway? Or do you think that that's a good law, provided, you know, the coast is clear and you can, you can cross the uh, street? I can't think of anybody that would want to, you know, deliberately just run stop signs because uh, just for the fun of it. I mean, if you're doing that, then you're living uh, a dangerous life out there. Anyway, I just wanted to... Uh, talk about that a little bit on this video because I do get comments and I wanted to clarify it I will leave a uh, link in the descriptions to show you in fact if you're interested in reading this the uh, state law here and maybe uh, check out your laws where you are because it could possibly be a similar law in your state Anyway, it doesn't matter for the moment. I'm on a straight road here for a few minutes here with no stop. Here's an interesting question uh, that I'm gonna ask if anyone knows out there. So here I am riding and I don't see any speed limit sign on this particular road. What do you do in that case if you don't know you're in a residential area? I would assume, oh, there's a sign there. I was gonna say, I would assume 20 miles per hour, but that one's 25. I, most residential areas around me are either 20 or 25, but sometimes you can get on a pretty long stretch of road, and if you're not familiar with the area, you don't know the speed limit. Uh, you know, uh, even though we're on an e-bike, uh, some of the speeds in the residential areas aren't overly fast. Some of them are 15 even. Um, I have gone through some as low as 10. 
like campgrounds would be a really slow one. I think they're like 10 miles per hour. So what do you do? Like if, I guess you just guess and kind of follow if there's any other traffic, just kind of follow along with what they're doing. I just thought I would clarify for those of you out there wondering does this guy ever stop at a stop sign well yes I do and for example when I'm coming onto the road that we're on right now and look at those trash cans right in my path anyway uh, yeah I obviously I'm gonna stop on a busier road if I'm in the residential area low traffic or no traffic and I can see what's coming in whatever whoops whatever direction as I run a stick over then yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna obviously stop or if there's pedestrians but at at, at really low speeds say you're at five even eight miles an hour I, it's not going to take much to stop much uh, distance to stop so you can get right up basically just about to the uh, stop you know before you uh, proceed but sometimes it's tricky because you'll be at corners like right here we just went by one where there's high fences or hedges and and that can uh, that can hinder your uh, sight. So uh, obviously, in that situation, yes, you're gonna you're gonna want to stop because you don't know what's coming. Sometimes you can hear a car coming, but not always because sometimes we have uh, electric cars out there and obviously electric cars are quiet just like this bike is their graffiti so if you want to comment on this video or any other videos go ahead and leave it in the comments below and here that time of day again we're between 2 30 and 3 o'clock so that's going to do it for the video if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button thank you very much for doing that also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and tell your friends about us and if you haven't checked out all of the videos uh, we are right around 250 videos I think are pretty close we're getting close to 250 anyway on the channel so if you want to check out some of the past videos i've done since uh 4th of july 2022 go back and uh, check some of those out uh, there may be something interesting for you so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care